Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to another Gaming Guy video. And today we're going to be talking about Starfield, but more specifically, we're going to talk about a gameplay mechanic. I think a lot of people have kind of missed, or better yet, didn't look at it in this perspective about it. Um, and where this coming from is the fact that I've been watching a lot of like Starfield reviews, um, and a lot of times that some of these reviewers like you know whether you they like starfield or hate starfield right um they've been saying that the exploration in starfield is either boring and bland right and for me it's the polar opposite it's more um uh, frantic and scary and also i can easily get killed now the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, you know, when we're talking about exploration, for me personally, I think that what these reviewers are playing it, they're playing it on basically on the easiest difficulty level. I don't even think they're putting it on the hardest difficulty level or they going or their gameplay doesn't really have that much of a challenge therefore they might say okay these planets that I'm going on and I'm seeing the same POIs you know over and over and over again and they say hey it doesn't really serve a purpose you only explore caves and stuff and, and personally to me I think they're absolutely wrong um because again when you look at exploration in starfield yeah you know you basically go to a planet that you've never been and you're just searching looking around stuff like that that's exploration but for me what i found out is the fact that if you really crank up the difficulty and then on top of that with the creation mods that some of these pois doesn't you know it doesn't you know be staying like exploration it's still there you know exploration but now it's turning into more into uh, what I like to use is going on a expedition than exploration. There's there's a difference, you know, you know, exploration is exploring a unknown territory, searching in an unknown planet. Right. Which you do in Starfield. However, when you crank up the difficulty and adding in the mods on top of it. It starts to become more like an expedition that when you're going on an expedition, it means that you have some type of purpose or a meaningful, you know, to go on to this journey or whatever that you're trying to do. That's why you're going on these expeditions and these expeditions help you into like leveling up your character, um, gathering better loot and stuff. It also is going to be more challenging because now you know, things in that, you know, again, depending on what planet you go on, it could either the weather's going to kill you, is either our monster going to kill you, or it's going to be both, or it's going to be like a spacer pirate, crimson flea, whatever is going to try to kill you, or even a robot, right? And I think a lot of people didn't look at it in that kind of perspective because everyone is looking at it like it's exploration, right? Exploration to me, if you was to say exploration, you know, what game is that? I mean, Starfield has exploration, but it also has expedition, like you're going on these strike missions and stuff. Exploration, like if we was talking about No Man's Sky, No Man's Sky is more exploration than going on an expedition. Okay? Uh, to to make it in better sense, it's like compare it's like comparing and contrasting two different types of games. Like, even though they are both different, but they have their own ways of going about it. It's like when you look at Devil May Cry 5, Devil May Cry 5 is more towards a combo heavy, you know, attacks. Like, so he's doing these attacks and he's comboing, juggling, and stuff like that, you know. And to put another game similar, it's like playing like Batman Arkham City or something like that, right? Where you got maybe like six, seven, eight bad guys and you're jumping around, juggling combos from one to the other, dodging, attacking, doing a rollover, doing this, doing that, you know, right? So that's Devil May Cry way of, 
you know, in combat. But then when you play Elden Ring, right, an, a FromSoft game, right, which is a Dark Souls game, the combat in that is going to be much more strategic, right? It's much more strategy focused. Yes, you can still do combos and parries and dodges, right? The same thing like you would do in Devil May Cry 5. But Devil May Cry 5 is more of a fast pace and the combos and stuff like that is basically as part of the gameplay. But then when you start to really turn the switch, right, in, you know, either one of these games, it might go with the opposite where, yeah, I can do these crazy combo juggles and stuff. But now the enemies are more aggressive in Devil May Cry 5. I might have to be a little bit, do a little bit more different. I might have to roll a little bit more. I might have to parry here and there more. So it starts to change. Like it's not going to be the same like Devil May Cry 5. Like if you was to put it on extreme easy, then you could just do combos and juggles all day and really have a fun, great time, right? And I think to me in Starfield, I think a lot of people put it on easy where they say, oh, yeah, this is expiration, but nothing really happens to them. They don't get killed. They don't feel threatened. They don't feel like whatever. Right. And and just like, again, going back to that example, like when you're going towards like a FromSoft game. Right. And, you know, those monsters and creatures and stuff like that. You have to be strategized and do strategic fights, like strategic little battles and strategic little combos. Like you can't just combo chain everything in that game. Like you can do maybe a one, two piece hit, roll over and parry and then do another strike from behind. But honestly, it's like got that risk versus reward. If you do that, you'd be successful. If you messed up, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you what? Your life. You know what I'm saying? And Dark Souls. So that's what I think personally for me. I think Starfield is not just about going on these exploration and these PUIs doesn't mean nothing. It's basically going on an expedition. You got to look at it and think about it that way. And I'll explain more, more of that when we get into the video. So if you do like the video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, leave your comments and thoughts down below. And hopefully, if you watch this video, try it for yourself and you can see what I'm talking about. But let's follow along here. We're going to first, what we're going to do is, right, we're going to load up into the game, right? We're going to go into my layer um, where I capture the Mantis layer, right? I capture it. I made it to my base. I got a whole thing about it, right? So here's my layer. I got everything here and stuff like that. So that's what I have. But first, let's go over. Um, I'm going to go over the difficulty settings that I have, and you can copy it for yourself. And then I'm going to run through the mod list that I have, and that's including an order. So then you can load it up and try it for yourself. So let's go with the difficulty settings. So here's the gameplay options. So right here, this is my difficulty settings right now, uh, currently that I'm playing this game, right? So you can see it for yourself. And there it is. So that's all I have. And again, if you need to pause it and look at it, you can do that and pause it and look at it for yourself. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the creations. And I'm going to go down the list. And this is in the mod order that I have currently in 2024. I'm going to just go down the list real quick. And if you need to pause it and look at the mods and find it and load it for yourself, you can do that too. So here we go. We're just going to go down the list.
All right, so there it is. There's my current list for the mods that I have, and that's in order. So again, you can pause it. If you need to look at it or get the mod for yourself, you can do so, and you can return to this video and watch. All right. So right now, we're in the my Mantis layer. I took over this base. I claimed this base. Now, what I mean by this, right? When you look at it like this, right, we see these randomly procedural generated, right, P is POIs, right? But the thing is that even if these random generated things, right, if, like, again, if you put the difficulty settings up high with the mods on top of that, it, it's not just exploration anymore at this point. Now, this is more towards, like, going on, like, going on like an expedition instead of exploration exploration is more like if i put a marker down like let's just say like this if i put a marker here that's just me saying i just want to explore just going to exploration i don't really care what happens it's not that important right but then when you go into one of these right here right now it's getting towards the point of you know, we're going on a mission. We're going on a strike mission. We're going to go on an expedition. So we're going to have to prepare ourselves and make sure that we got things that we need to bring, right? Uh, who we need to hire on our ship or a crew member to bring along because now it's going to be a lot more dangerous. It's going to be a lot more threatening. So it's no more of this, like, I just landed on the planet, nothing's going to happen to me. Like, no, when you land on the planet and you go and attack, you they're going to be definitely a, a lot of, of aggressiveness. But the whole goal is when you're going on an expedition is to bring very little things and you're there to do what? Rob, kill, loot. Okay? gather all of those resources and bring it back to your home base which is right here right so if my home base is right here that's what you do you're going out on these like you know on these expedition on a campaign spree land there seeing your environment around you and then going to approach that and then see if you can you know rob kill do this and then loot all the things that you possibly can bring it back to HQ and then keep it there and then build up the loot, the gear, like the contraband, building up those things, taking credits, right? Those things are like got that risk versus reward. Because like, again, if I go here, right? If I'm going to go, go on an expedition on here, right? And I'm going to be dealing with ecliptics. I know that ecliptics is going to be very, very dangerous. Okay. Right. We know that when you go back. Right. And you can see the level right now. We're in a level 30 planet. And if I go any one of these and, you know, right now, currently. Right. What is our level? Our level is level 12. We are only in level 12. We're in a level 30 planet. Uh, 30 um, so um, system in a planet system. Right. So we know it's going to be very, very dangerous. We know that we're most likely going to get killed and we're going to die a lot, right? But then again, the trade-off is, since we're in a level 30, then we know that we're going to get better loot and gear if we go there, and it's going to help us to level up our character. This is where we're going from not doing some exploration where we just randomly just go in there and just doing any old thing. We're going there for resources. We're going there to loot. We're going there to, you know, to kill um, ecliptics or whatever and try to get those gear and bring it back to our base. That's the loop cycle right there. You got to look at it as more like a strike mission, like going on a strike mission. It's not as easy as you think it is. And it makes it more fun and challenging because now you have to really think about what do I need to buy? What do I need to bring? Because like, again, to me, I think people put this on way too easy. When they put this game on way too easy, it's going to be way too boring. Or they probably mess around with the settings on here and said, 
you know, let's just say we're going back to the difficulty settings. And I bet you that a lot of people say, oh, we need we need a vendor credits. Let's let's slide the slider up. No, that's going to ruin the experience. Put it lower. You know what I'm saying? Put it on hard. If you put this on hard, right? And I'm not saying everything like, you know, food is one thing, you know, that's fine. But like, again, like vendor credits, you know, reduce it, right? You know, um, weight ammo, reduce it. Yes, ammo has weight. So you're not carrying like a thousand and two hundred and something bullets. You're only carrying a certain amount of bullets and it adds to that weight. You know what I'm saying? And like, again, like, again. The reason why is because when you go into these towns, right, when you go into the town and you want to, you know, buy certain things, right, and stuff like that, um, you know, you're just wasting a lot of credits. You're spending a lot more credits and buying, buying stuff rather than just saving onto those credits and just going out there and just going on these strike missions that now you can kill, loot, take things, and you can sell it to them you know going back to the city you could sell these items to them you know what i'm saying like you could buy certain items and then if they ran out of credit you could say well i got these armor sets that i already took from these ecliptics let me just resell it there and then guess what if you resell it to them he's gonna have the credits already because you sold them armor sets of the ecliptics now you can say oh i still want to keep buying more bullets i want to buy this you know, again, you're taking away credits. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you do it like that, it's like a loop cycle. So basically, like, if you give if you give shitty stuff that sells a lot, and then you're buying it, you're buying it back. Basically, you're taking away credits. You know, right? You're selling it to earn credits, and you're also buying stuff to you know take away credits from you. You know what I'm saying? It's like a perfect balance. So what I mean by that. Like when we're going on these expedition, aka strike missions, right? First thing first, we need to figure out what do we need to bring and what are we there for, for, for whatever, right? We're going to loot, kill, but sometimes, right? I think when a lot of people look at these mechanics, like, you know, like the weapon stuff, right? The, this, these are things like when you go over here to the research, right? And that's the whole point is to basically steal items, bring it back, have it to be researched so then you can improve your stuff, you know, right? So you can improve certain things, you know what I'm saying? So when you come back with items and stuff and you want to complete this, well, here it is. This is the list that you need. Boom. We need five of these. Okay. If we go out there on these random, you know, POI generated stuff, we can try to find that item and this is where we track those items you see how we can track this item we can track that item and then the more we develop this the more stuff we can unlock to improve like again our suit weapons gear food the pharmacies and stuff this is going to improve so as we level up we get better improvements we unlock more stuff and we get better things you know which is going to help us a lot and then we're going to bring resources. So there's all my resources right there. Right? Here's my gear that I have. My resources. Everything is right here. Right? So we know, okay, we're going to have to bring very little items. So let's check our spaceship, right? We want to check our ship. We want to make sure that, you know, we got the mass and the cargo room that we need. So we got plenty of cargo space right there. So we're okay. Right? Right? We know we got some weapons on board. We got the ammo already on board. And it's very little, right? This is from my last strike mission that I did. But you see, I collected a lot of bullets. So if we keep on going on to these expeditions and these strike missions, then we can collect more and more bullets, more and more items, more and more things. And then, like again, if weapons and stuff that you already have on your ship, you can just go and return, go to any of those cities go there buy certain items if you want to get you know you want to get healed you want to get this you want to do this then you know you can sell some of these things you know what i'm saying like sell it and then you could buy certain items say oh well if i sell the ecliptic stuff he's gonna run out of credits but i still need the important stuff i still need medical 
I just still need medicine, right? I need healing items. I need food. I need like certain little things. So that's when you start buying it and then keep selling him the junk. So then that way, you know, it's kind of like that give and take. You know, you give, you take. That's what you do. You don't have to put the vendor credits all the way up to like, oh, infinite or has like 10,000 vendor credits. It's stupid. And then it just makes the game very boring and meaningless. If you put it like that, it's going to make you say, okay, if I'm going to go back in town, let me take this suit and let me grab these guns so then I could just resell it. So then that way I could buy these items <laughs> without wasting a whole bunch of credit because I'm just going to sell them these stuff. Use that to buy other things in that whatever that you want to buy or whatever after when you sell it. So right now, we were pretty much straight. We got our medicine right here. We got all of our stuff that we need, right? We could take food on our ship. So we're pretty much set, you know? So we got plenty of room to keep filling up items and stuff like that, right? So now, let's go put on our suit, right? We want to get this up. I'm gonna put this on. We already got the weapons on board, right? And oh, by the way, you see this? Look, found this in one of the one of my last strike missions that I did, right? I found all of this stuff, right? Harvest organs, right? We can sell that, make a lot of credits. We got six. We got four of these, right? We got one of these. Cool, right? This is gonna give us some cash. But again, right, the only way that we're going to sell it is through the den. So we got to sell it at the den, which is fine. But if we build it up, right, if we keep going out there, going on strike and going on these expeditions, going on these strike missions on these random POI, we can earn more. And then this will be like kind of like our little emergency kind of funds that we can sell and get rid of and then if we go to maybe maybe to maybe become the crimson fleet we can go take these items to the to the crimson fleet layer like the key and then we can sell these things over there too you know what i'm saying there's a strategy to this there's a strategy to this it's like yo this is cool you know what i'm saying it makes me feel like you know i'm a smuggler i contraband stuff i got these items and stuff this is good you know what I'm saying? So there we go. So now we got our suit on. We already got all the weapons and stuff that we need and the stuff. The only thing that I probably will do first will be like if we need medical attention and stuff like that. Like, do we need it? Well, let's check ourselves. Well, it seems like we're good. So it doesn't seem like we need any like crazy healing stuff and all that stuff. So we should we should be pretty good, right? And we got our perks right now. We've got two perks. So let's get that done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it by this. And then I'm going to increase my health. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we got that. Let's check our inventory right here. Right. Let's put on our suit to make sure we are good. Okay, we are good. We got our stuff. This is what we got. We got 14. That's good. So we're pretty good. All right. So now we're all set. We got everything organized, right? We decorated and stuff, right? So now... We need to, since we got everything that we need and we got prepared, right? We brung, we already got some weapons on the ship. We already got items and stuff, food, medical stuff. We already got all that stuff. And we already got the crew members that we need, right? To prepare to go on this expedition, those are the things that we need. We already got it. So now we can go, like, since I already make this as my layer. And I can do my research. I got this console thing. I don't have to go onto my ship if I don't want to. I can just go right here. And now I can start choosing where do I want to go 
for my next strike mission. Now, if I already explore it, but let's say I didn't explore everything in that land, I can just go back there and just keep on exploring where I left off at. So let's just do that. I think that'd be the better way. So now we're going to go back over there. Right? And we're going to continue where we left off. So, here we are. We landed. Now, we already... We already explore, and I did this from my last strike mission. I already did that. Now, in this particular strike mission, where do we want to go? So, there's a base all the way out here. Now, it's a kind of a long way, which is a very far travel, right? And there's a base all the way out there. Again, we don't know what kind of loot they have, but there's a base out there. Now, for me, let's just go on our next strike mission right behind us, which is over here. I don't know what's over here in this area, but it seems... It seems kind of small, but... Maybe we can go over here. Maybe not. We might have to go a little bit further. So there's that's all we have. Right? So there's that over there. There's this. So probably our next mission, if anything, we're going to have to travel. We're going to have to travel all the way out here. Because it seems like we can get some good loot over here in this area. So we're going to have to travel all the way out here for it. So now let's get ourselves prepared. Because we don't have all the items that we need. We need, we need, some, we need to carry some stuff. We don't want to go empty handed. All right, so now let's go to our ship. Go right here. And we already got all this, but it doesn't weigh anything. That's fine. Let's go to our weapons. Let's go to value. And see what we want to bring. Now, this is a burst fire weapon. 60 mag. Again, let's check our bullets, because do we have a lot of MMs? Yes, we got like 371. Which is not bad. Okay, we know that since it's a long travel, and we might deal with a lot of, you know, long distance range, I'm going to bring the sniper rifle with us. Refined Star, which is 43 damage. That's 47, 43. So again, the weight is important too, you know, like, hey, the less weight, the better. So if this is 47, 43, but it has less, less mass to it, we'll just take the refined one. Right? We want to take a shotgun because we want to make sure that we are able to... You know, defend ourselves. That's what we need. We'll take a long range one. This is a long range rifle with a nice little scope. With a medium scope. So we'll take this. Right. 37 for that. And then we'll take a knife right here, which it does 41. Which, it does do negative 15 damage while in planets, but hey, 41 is 41 if it does a little bit less, but it's still good. So let's just take that. I don't think we need a cutter for this because we're not taking any minerals, but just in case, let's just bring the cutter anyway. Right? So we're good with all that, which is fine. So there's our inventory for that. And then we already got this. We need throwable stuff. Let's go take a few mines. And we'll take a few grenades. And we'll take some aid. So this time we'll take a bit of food. Right? 
We'll take this. We'll bring some band-aids just in case. We'll do five. That's important. We'll take a few little food. We'll take two waters. Right. Healing gel. Take four. We'll take three of these. We don't have to worry about that. Let's take meds. We'll probably put some of it away. Take a little snake oil. Alright, so now we'll take this because we want to transfer some stuff. So we could transfer credits. That's just a mod. So we're straight with that. Okay, now we got that. Now we can just go in our inventory and set everything up. So there's a long range rifle. There's this right here. There's our pistol. We'll put it right here. We'll put this over here. And we already got our communicator and stuff. Okay, we got our thing, which we can leave that there just in case if we need to. We got it. To pick up anything along the way, right? Our throwables, right? We already got our grenade right here. We'll put our mines over here, right? And we already got that. Let me go back to my ship for a minute because I forgot we got to put back some of the, the aid. We don't need all of it. We're trying to save some of it. So we'll go right here. Go down here. Since we got 19, we'll bring like 10. We'll save 9. Right? So there we go. We're good with that. That doesn't come out. And now we, this this doesn't weigh anything, but we don't that doesn't weigh anything either, which is fine. Alright, now let's go have our sniper rifle. And we definitely do need bullets, because without bullets, we're screwed. So let's get our bullets out from our ship, which we already got it highlighted. We're going to take this. We'll take a hundred of these. Uh, let's see. We do need this right here. We'll take about 310. Sniper rifle bullets. We'll take the whole thing. Shotgun. We'll take 120. And then we should be okay. So now let's go make sure we reload. We got 20 out of 28, so we got to use it wisely. We got this. We're good with that. 270 for this. Alright, so we seems to be pretty good. We're in the right track. Now, the thing is, now we gotta see how far do we need to travel. Because if it's local time is 8. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. So it's pretty much 8 in the morning. For in-game time. Which that give us enough time to travel there. So now let's go. Get our friend here. Hi there, Captain. Let's trade gears. I don't know what she got, but let's see what she got. She got this and this. 
So I think it's time to upgrade her weapons. Because if she got this one right here, she needs to upgrade. So let's give her some... Oh, the next time you need my help. Any news to share? Need to swap something? Okay, so let's see. Yeah, because we want... To take away this and this. And then we'll give her. Something that is going to do some damage. We should give her one of these. Right. I don't want to give her a pistol. We'll give her this. Even though the 16, we'll do give her just in case for close quarters. And now we got to give her at least one MM bullet. And then one caliber bullet. We'll leave her with the sniper rifle. And she should be straight. She got a grenade. She got the outfit. We still didn't get her a suit yet. Because there's nothing really good. So we're going to have to wait and see what we can find up there. If we can find any good suits and stuff. So. Now we're, we are preparing to travel out. You know, again, this is one of those. Go out on an expedition. We're traveling. We know where we need to go. We know what dangers is we might find. And we're going to stay focused on the mission. So it's going to be very, very dangerous. So we definitely got to be on our toes. For real. Because even I put in a mod. Where if I go attack a base. There's going to be two enemy ships. That's going to call for reinforcements for backup. And then they're going to try to kill us too. So. We got to be aware of that as well. So now it's going to be pretty much we got to stay on our toes. And we're going to bring Vasco with us. So we're going to have to really strategize on some stuff. That's what it is, you know. So we're going to let her keep those bullets just in case we find a weapon and we'll give it to her. So okay, so now she's all set. Got places to be, huh? Greetings, Captain. Yes, Captain. All right. So now, now we got Vasco with us, and we got her as well. So now, we should be all set. Oh, wait. Oh, one other thing, too. Forgot. Forgot about this, because I need to put this away. Because I got those two guns that I got from... I want to put this away and put this away. All right, so now we should be all set. All right, so now we're good. All right. So now let's go command. So what direction do we need to go? Alright, 
So we're heading over here, right? So that means we gotta head in this direction. So we gotta head from here going that way. So from here, we gotta go straight down that way. And before we do it, gotta make sure we save too, just in case if we die. Okay. Yeah, we pretty much did some damage here, so... So now is going to be a very long way to get there. So we gotta head straight, and we're gonna head over here. It's some natural environment, which is fine. Shoot, luckily there's like, no animals or creatures on this planet. If there was, whoo, we'll be fucked. But now, we're on a mission. Might as well on the way there, might as well get some... Copper. This is why I like to play Starfield. I like to take my time and look around and explore. But knowing myself, I'm on a mission, so... I'm just staying on my toes. Okay. What the fuck was that? Alright, so it is the bio lab. Damn, I don't know what the fuck was that. That's something new to me. Now I'm curious. I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Alright. Well, there's the bio lab over there. Okay, seems like we're almost there. 
Gotta pass this little part. See, I could just survey the planet while I'm still here, so. See, easy. I don't know what it does, but I ain't trying to get affected. Let's save it at this point. Seems like we're getting closer. We're about like 400 meters away. No miles. Doesn't matter. We're getting close. Seems like there's somebody touching down. Let's see. How far away are they? That's the question. It seems like they didn't touch down that far, but... I don't think they fully landed yet. here for a minute. Okay, we'll probably get that after. And since we already have items, I want to know what this location is. Okay, so if we do get out, that means is this one right here where our chess is. See, all about strategy. So now I know what this is. Since there's a chest over here, might as well take advantage of it. See, since I got resources, I don't want that to carry up my weight. I throw it in here, grab it on the way back. And did they land too? So they did. So they're all the way out here. Nowhere near that. But it definitely looked like a unique ship, that's for sure. But we already near here in this laboratory. So let's just go through the lab now. Save it in this spot. Let's keep on traveling. Now, again... You're probably gonna be enemies. So... We're gonna have to approach this very carefully. Because we ain't trying to get shot right away. Okay, what we should do, we should try to enter through the back right over here. And then we'll work away on our platform and go on here.
And again, if we make our way into the base, they're most likely going to be coming up here. Seems kind of weird. Holy shit. That ain't gonna work. Roscoe, well, take him out. might be coming. I don't need nothing here. Do this, got this. Alright. Let's take some of the weapons that we need. We'll save it, we'll basically come back and then we'll loot this area again. Advance 23 doesn't even have a scope on that. Take some of these. So far, so good. Let's see. Let's see if we're going to have a welcome party in there. Let's search the area first and make sure we're all clear. Why is it that doing out here? Well, we could go through this way, but might as well give the welcome welcoming entrance. We start away from the front and we work our way towards the back. I don't see no bad guys coming out here yet. I think once we start going inside, yeah, this motherfucker said. All right. Did you okay. need something? Yep. Pleasure doing. We're going to do a different weapon for you, because we're gonna go inside. I'll be seeing you. Uh, 
Alright. Time to go inside. Go in. Go in. Go in. Holy Vasco up there. Holy shit! Come on, Vasco! Did I have this on on? I don't want aim assist on. No, I don't want aim assist off. Thank you. I don't like aim assist on. It's pretty garbage. Alright, let's start taking some credits. Oh, Crimson Fleet is here. That's new. Let's take this, take this. Alright. So at least we know we got some food here. So we probably might take some food and stuff when we get out of here. Let's just take the med packs for now. And then we'll come back and loot all this stuff. Since we know the area is secure. But then again... I have a bad feeling that they might be coming. I'm not sure. But just in case, if they do decide to come... We'll leave him with a welcome mat. And we'll put one right out here. Alright. Got water. Let's take that. Let's see what else we can find up in here. That kit's good. Um, let's see. We need this. Good. We got some more ammo. I'm gonna find some stuff. I'll tell you that. Um, let's see. That's okay. I swear, I keep on thinking like there's somebody outside and shit and there's nothing. Watch it, Vasco. Come on. Get out the way. Alright. Oh, that kit. We'll eat some of that. Alright, might as well take a drink while we're at it. I will come back and get all the rest of this stuff. Let's keep going. Okay, ready?
And just in case if they come behind us. Put that right there. Put one down the stairs. Okay, we're good. Clear. Time to go room by room. grab that on the way out. Well, we'll grab it when we clear out this whole area. We'll come back and loot shit. Okay. See, look at that. More med packs. Good. But I try not to use the med packs at all. Want that in our way. Okay, we got a lot of pirates. Take cover. Just keep coming door by door. Okay, we don't need that. Luckily, we were protected by glass. Warning. Motherboard shut down. Imminent. Okay. We're gonna have to take out the pistol for this. Well, the rifle. Oh, you're just being an idiot. Waste of time. Okay. It's going to be tricky. Using one map pack.
go. Oh shit, I'm about to die. Okay, now we gotta heal ourselves because we got we took in a lot of damage. Hopefully we'll be okay. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. Oh shit. Yep, I knew they were gonna come right behind us. Yep, they came right behind us. I don't know how many are there, but they came. See? The backup came through. Oh shit. Let's see, we can take the sniper. I see you. Just come out the door. Just peep in your head. Come on. Fuckers are here. What the hell? Where did that shot came from? Take out the shotgun approach. literally had to hold my breath because I thought I was going to die. Alright, let's 
let's check upstairs. Because they came literally behind me. I told you. They will be coming behind us. And that's why I put those fucking booby traps. Like I said, watch when I get into this building. We start moving up this gunfight. And then they're going to start coming right behind us. Ooh, I like this. Let's take that. What the fuck? Oh, that's all you got? Shit, I was suspecting better. Let's see. What? Did they went through my booby traps? Yes. No? Well, yes, because there. I think I throw one down here. So, I did throw one. Alright. And they came right behind us, too. Okay. What you got? You ain't got shit! <laughs> I thought I heard something. Alright. Let's go clear out the room. At least let's take the important things that we need and we'll come back and loot the rest. We'll bring all the stuff back and then we can just come back here and start looting a whole bunch of shit. Ten percent damage of robots, I don't like that. Okay. We don't have to deal with that. Not yet anyway. Alright, let's see if we can grab any items that we can on top. And then we'll work our way down. I didn't want to grab that. No. Don't care about that. My barrel, this and that. Ooh. You're fine. Let's take that. Yeah, we're definitely getting some loot, I tell you that. You know, see, this is why it serves a purpose, man. When you go on these, like, little, like, you know, expeditions, you can literally find stuff. And you gotta be careful, because if you don't be careful, you end up getting killed very quickly. And it's always good to bring a backup, and you always gotta watch your back, because they could just come right behind you. So, we'll take that for uh, my partner. Okay, let's go down. Oof. Damn, somebody heard the mice. God damn. We'll come back for that. Let's see what you got. Oh, nice little outfit. Ooh, good. We got a little shoddy. Got more 
medicine. We got more stuff. Yeah. All right. You guys, since you stay right here, wait right here. Captain. Just wait right there, just don't move. I'm gonna start searching around. She got stuck there, though. It wasn't my fault. You don't need that. But we'll come get that. Maybe we can sell it, so. That's an engineering outfit. This. We got a one already. That Ooh, twenty. Take that. Nothing in the weapon case. We'll come back for that. Got this. Let's see what they got. Nothing. Nothing. Jesus. Alright. Let me see if we can just do another band aid healed. Looks like we're good. All right, time to go. Save it in this part so. Maybe if I do something about it, maybe it makes the thing friendly. I'm not sure, but we'll try it. Okay, so then there's only one way to fit it. It's like this. There, now we'll put one like this, and then we'll do one right here while we got one like this.
now. We activated those. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. We're Gucci, man. Alright, come back for that. Alright, now we got some good enemy AI robots. Gonna help us. Thank you. Okay. Got a med pack. Take that. We're not gonna take that. Our entrance. Alright. I think we should be good. At least this one died. Poor bastard. Don't feel bad. We'll come get that after. Alright, see? We hit into jackpots. Yes. Now we're good. Now we can come back for those. Okay. We got a shock trooper helmet. Fuck it, we'll take that. We'll come back for that. You know, when we start really robbing the place. They keep the schedule hostile detected from safety activating the combat protocol system. Uh, ah, there's some credits right there. Might as well. I see some credits, so might as well start taking them. Yeah, there's only one way to fit it. As well. Mm hmm. Got a few ducats. Taking that. Nothing there. That's it. Oop! And we got a little case. Bam! Hitting the jackpot. Now we could definitely bring that back to our ship. Good. So now when we come back. Now we got all the stuff that we need. So pretty much that was a success. And now we can come back and rob a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's see, just to make sure. Okay, we should be good. Okay, now we save it. Gonna get a save again. All right, now we're back on the surface. We're good. We're good, man. We got away. We got a whole bunch of loot. Now we can start making our way back to the ship. We can unload some of this stuff. We could have carried more, but let's unload most of the stuff, and then all we have to do is just come back here, and then we'll just rob the rest of the place. See, that's what that right there was a successful mission right there. A successful little strike mission. We went on an expedition. We went in there, clear it out, took all the loot, try not to die and not use up that much resources and bullets. Now we can head back to our ship, unload most of the stuff, come back, steal whatever that we can, bring it to the ship, and then we can take it back to the base. That's how you do it. So right now, we can fast travel if we wanted to, but honestly, I don't play it like that. I'm just going to walk walk it back. That's how I like to play it. I'm more towards, like, you know, walking from distance and um, 
grabbing certain items that I need on the way back. And then now uh, we can unload it. That's it. We're good. We just pull off an successful thing. We could be greedy and we could go over here and investigate. But since we got a whole bunch of loot, we're going to take this back first back to our ship. Then we'll try to investigate over here. And then we can go over here on this one. So that'll be like a whole nother mission. See, you got to look at it in that perspective. If you if you look at it that way and you think about it that way and really strategize, you can get away with a lot of credits and you can make a lot of credits without spending a whole bunch of credits because we went in there, we saw a whole bunch of guns, we took some bullets, and now we just adding it, you know, again, because if we went to any, you know, like New Atlantis, right, all that stuff. Like, if we did all that stuff, then we would have been wasting a whole bunch of credits, like, buying ammo, buying this, buying that. You know, right? We would have wasted a lot of credits. Oh, and speaking of credits, right? So, since we already have a whole bunch of credits now, right? I think I got a thing here. I think it's either this or the resources, I think. Or the aid, I think it's one of them. So right here. So now I have a uh, Star Finance terminal. Now I can just transfer stuff to my bank. So now, right, if we um, do uh, check my balance, right, we got 6,000 credits. Now since we could deposit, we'll put 10 grand, 10 grand, put 5 grand, bam. So now we check our balance. We got 31,000 credits, boom. So now we transfer it. Now we got a, only back to 100 credits. But that's okay, because once we already got items and stuff like that, whatever we don't need or whatever we take from here, we can just sell it at New Atlantis to get more credits and we can put it in our savings. So now, you know, I might have a goal of saying, you know, I want to save up and do some missions like this and maybe do some other missions, right? Like, let's say I don't want to do... Uh, this type of mission. I just want to go back to my main quests and your stuff like that. You can do that to earn credits, reward, and level up. And then just just like sometimes when you're in certain planets or something like that, take a break. Do some of these type of missions where you're like, all right, let me go back to my crib, you know, bring some stuff. Let's go out there, rob, loot a bunch of things, bring it back to my ship, steal get a bunch of credits and then I can sell it and flip it to make a fortune and then I can put it in my in my uh, my bank account you know that's the smartest thing that you could do you know see we we made off a, off of a lot you know we made off pretty much a lot But we're going to be getting to our ship soon, so still a long ways, but we're going to get there. And then you see, like, yo, those space pirates was literally right behind us because I didn't even notice that. But th you see how they could just come through the door, search around, then come through another door, and then they can go downstairs, and then they can find us, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they really do be coming after us. So you have to be very aware of your surroundings, you know? Because you don't know where they at, where they could be hiding. They could be in front of you. They could be behind you. So you got to be very, very careful. Because they won't hesitate. They will try to kill you, stab you, try to shoot you in the back. And stuff like that. That's why I put those um, the mines right behind me, so then to make sure that they're not going to try to kill us. And plus, it's going to trigger it, you know. So that way, I know like they're right behind us, so then I can take care of them, you know. So 
now. And also, if you want, you can always go back to your your hideout or your outpost, drop off all the stuff, and you can still come back here because it's still everything is cleared. Then you can go back over there and take whatever that you want, and then you can go back to your hideout or go do something else, you know. So yeah, you know, like again, there's like there's multiple ways of going about this, you know. But this is what I like. Because it's not exploration anymore, because now when you add the difficulty, you're adding in all of those factors, it becomes less exploration and more about survival and more about, like, you know, like, risk versus reward. We got some good weapons there. We found some cool loot there. Now we can take it back to our ship, put a bunch of stuff in there, and then we can keep going and go about our business, you know? But we also got to keep in mind, too, that at any given time, like, we can really run out of supplies. We can we can definitely run out a lot of supplies. So we don't know. Like, food could be abundance, but then it's like, well, I need Band-Aids, and there's may not be a much Band-Aids out here. So I have to go back to a city to purchase more Band-Aids or purchase more medical stuff or purchase more of this, right? Same thing for bullets. You know, I could waste a lot of bullets. If I'm not careful with my stuff, I can really waste a lot of bullets. You know what I'm saying? All right, there we go. There we go. See, so now we made it back to our ship. And now we can unload most of the stuff. And then, you know, whatever. Later on, I'm going to just go back there and take a whole bunch of stuff and go about my business. But... Yeah. See, this is that loop cycle that I love so much because it just it makes it fun and enjoyable. And it's just like it feels like a success. Like I went there for something. I didn't went there for nothing. Right. I came back with some goodies. So now, right, since we already got it in our inventory. So now we're going to transfer all of that stuff that we have in our inventory back to our ship. So that's why we have this. Right. We do least the greatest. Let's see what we got. We got this right here. Damn, 38? Okay, shit. We got that. Bam. Let's put it. Let's put it there. We got this. Damn. Got a extended mag double double the magazine size. 44. Hey, we can use this as our little pistol. And it takes like 1.5, you know, you know, LZR. So okay, good. We already got LZR already, so as we was doing the, as I did the first strike mission, and now we did the second one, I have enough bullets already that I can use this weapon, you know what I'm saying? And I can take it, go do something else, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. So, hey, I got that. We already have that. See, look, I already picked up shotgun, uh, a different type of shotgun, so if I don't want the double barrel one, I could take this one, you know? That takes seven shots, which is good. Bam, we took that. Uh, refined iron. Th there it is, 41. Good. All right, we can take that. Right? Here's another one right here, assassin one. This one has a medium scope, but it has a suppressor and semi. Good. I can like to use that. I don't mind that. You know, if I don't want to use this one, right, which is a little bit loud... I can go for something a little bit more quiet. You know what I'm saying? So I can take that. So I have the option to go loud or a little bit quiet. I'm probably going to take this one mostly, but I can still keep the other one or I can give it to my partner, right? Like the rifle that I have, I can give that to my partner to use so she can do some damage. You know what I'm saying? Which is good. You know, like I'm also thinking about my crew members, like, you know, they need this gear, that gear. Stuff like that, you know? So that's cool. So we got this, right? We got this. That's good. Maybe we could sell that. This one right here, 61, which is good. Dismember it plus 20 plus damage against robots. So if I run up to a robot and slash them, this is going to come in handy, which is good. So, hey, we can keep that. That's good. Got an axe, right? Got this. Got that. And that's it. You see? We made off with some pretty good items, you know what I'm saying? We made off pretty good, right? Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got some shrapnels. That's good. We still got this. We got this, right? We made off with a lot of bullets. 
which is still good. So now we can start putting some of this away, you know, right? We can say, okay, we can keep this. We can keep this. We can put the seven sevens away, right? We keep in that. Or we can put half of it away. If we got 400 and something, we don't need that much. So let's just put, maybe we'll put away maybe like, maybe like 150 or something or 180. So let's put 180 back. So 251, we'll just do 250, which is more than enough. So boom, we got 250 on us, right? We got that rifle that we have. We might exchange it, but hey, let's put this away. Uh, we got the shotgun one. We got 76, but we already got this one right now, which is the caseless one. We'll just throw that one away. Hey, but we got some bullets, right? So we didn't came back empty-handed. We came back with some bullets, and we're just putting away the ones that we just not really using. We're building those up, you know? We're building the ammunition up because this is all we got, you know, right? So we put this some of this away. So we'll say, oh, we got whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll put 53 back. We'll put 53. So we got 100, 250, sniper rifle, this. We're good. We're Gucci. So then when we go on our next strike mission, we'll take their bullets, rob them, and then we'll use that against them or whatever. So we're good, right? We, we made off with stuff. So, right, right, we made all with some good med packs, you know, right, we got 13 of them, right, which we had to use like two or three, but hey, we put three back, boom, we got 10. We made off with some items, so we're good, so we'll put this away, we'll keep that, we got trauma pack, boom. See, the 25% um, range damage for two minutes and accuracy. Hey, we'll keep one of them. Or better yet, if we need it, we'll just put it away. So then we can use it for research. We got this. We'll put away one of those. Or both. Keeping the healing pace. Emergency medical kit, we'll put that away. We'll put one water away. Two packages of beef, we'll keep that. We'll throw this away. Because we already got water. And we got band-aids and stuff. We got this. We'll put that away. And we kept the... We got stir-fry. So we made off pretty good. We made off a pretty good stuff. Again, we did explore every little nook and cranny. We probably would have found more medical stuff and stuff. But hey. We can always go back there and rob even more. And bring it back to our ship. You know? But what we did, we focused on bullets, we focused on a few weapons, we took some ammo, we focused on taking all the medical stuff that we could possibly can, right? That's the thing that we focus first, and then we come back there and we'll take all the rest of the stuff. But we made off pretty good, you know, right? We got some resources, so we put that away, boom, right? And now we made off with this one, you know, right? We got some um, mech component. Boom, we got that. We got some picks. Let's just throw away at least about eight. So we keep 12. So we, we just put eight in there. We're keeping 12, right? So yeah, we made off pretty good. And you can see we got 165 mass. We still got plenty of room. So we're not even full yet. So if we keep on doing this, right, until we get to like mass capacity, which is like a thousand, you know, old, you know, right close to a thousand or something, then we can take it back to the crib. We can organize it. We can sell stuff. We can bring it to here. We can do this. So there's a couple of things we can definitely do, you know. It's just always just like building, collecting, and getting stuff. But hey, that was a success, right? And we did level up our character. So we went from level 12 to 13, and we got a point. So now, let's see. We'll put this. We'll actually, we'll do for... Um, Hmm. 
Let's see, what should we do it for? We'll do it for our ship. We'll get our ship stuff a little bit up. But that's the thing, man. We, we made off good. And again, we can also have our companions carry it, but I don't want my companions to carry it. I'm just going to carry everything. I just want them to bodyguard me so then I can go and do stuff, you know. So I'm going to end it right here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that. So again, hopefully that right there will be a good example. Like, you know, the things that you can do on a you know, basically going on a expedition. Don't look at it as exploration, especially when you put it on the hardest difficulty. It makes it less exploration and more on an expedition. Go on these strike missions. It's like, it's good. It helps you to level up your character. You're getting loot. You're strategizing on certain things to bring, right? And then you're clearing out the base. And then when you come back there, you take all the stuff that you need. You grab more items. You bring it back to your main base. And then you can organize, do a bunch of stuff, whatever. And again, we don't have to waste a whole bunch of credits in spending it to get these items like medical stuff or all this stuff and this. It'd be just a waste of money. We might as well just go out there. It's like that risk versus reward. It is a bit of a challenge. You're definitely going to be putting up a bit of a fight. But at the same time, at the end of it, if you know what you're doing, you can get a lot of cool loot, a lot of good stuff, right? And on top of that, you're earning credits as you go. So if the more you do it, the more credits you're going to earn. And the more you save those credits, you could put that towards, like, again, building a spaceship, right? Upgrading or upgrading a spaceship, right? Upgrading your base, your outposts, right? With resources and stuff like that, you know, right? Putting weapons and attachment to weapons that you already have and like and say, I want to make it more powerful, more better. I want this to be a little bit more like this, so on and so forth, right? That's what basically I think a lot of people have over missed that mechanic in Starfield. So just letting you guys know, it's there. You just got to look at it in that kind of perspective. Remember, look at it in that perspective. Don't look at that expiration. This is not No Man's Sky expiration. This is Starfield, okay? When you play this on Harder, this is going to be less about expiration and more about going on an expedition and really strategizing on things that you need to bring what you need to carry, who do you want on your crew member, what crew member carry their gear. These are things that you're going to have to really think about and strategy. Again, it's not just only me got the best weapons and gear. I also got to think about my crew members as well to make sure they have the best weapons and gear because when they go out in those fights, I want to make sure that the person that I got with me is able to somewhat defend herself as some type of fight you know if i gave her a level gun that's only doing five damage is it is it gonna help me out in the gunfight no because she got she got a weapon that only doing five damage and i got a weapon that's doing 32 damage right and we're on the planet on a level 30 you know well level 30 galaxy in in the in the galaxy planet whatever I don't know how would you say it, but in that solar system, like it's like level 30 and we're dealing with people that are even above our level. So I need my crew members to be able to be putting up a fight and able to defend and whatever. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? It just makes sense, you know? So I just letting you guys know, but anyway, hopefully this video will help you guys make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.